news, but we're talking Final Fantasy. This is the Kings of Rice. This is Ultima. And this is Master... No, no, fucking Masterpiece Gaming Theater. No, it's it's MGT Cast. I mean, it's still part of Masterpiece Gaming Theater, but it is what it is. MGT Cast. Masterpiece Gaming Theater Cast. MGT Cast. So, so with that said, um, again, it's not it's not news time. Well, it kind of might be news because you know you might not you might not have heard lately, but Final Fantasy's fan base hasn't exactly been growing. Color me surprised. I mean, if you think about it, it's like you know, I'm not gonna say flops because in a way I've been I've I've found some enjoyment in each of the Final Fantasy games I've played. So you know, I don't personally see any of the games as a flop. Although I'm, well, actually, I might, I might, I might be in consider that might be different consideration for ten two, but, um. So I mean, there was a, there was an article. There's an article on CNET right now. This uh, from two days ago, actually. Um, so basically, the headline that that the title of the article is Final Fantasy was feared to be. To, was feared to be dying to be a dying IP that had already peaked. And this was a quote. This was a quote by the director for Final Fantasy XV, Hajime Tabata. And um, so basically, like you know, I guess I guess with that being said, like I guess as as the title itself, like what is what do you what do you think about when you hear that? What do you think about when you hear like you know that Final Fantasy is at this point like a dying IP? Um, like, do you consider it to being a dying IP in your opinion? Dying is a strong word because it still does pretty strong sale wise. But I guess, I guess, it's, it's that phrase if you're not growing, you're dying. Something well, like that, right? Yeah, I guess in the grand scheme of things, it's like, you know, uh, in that sense, yes, because. I mean, let's see. Um, so yeah, like I don't know, like thirteen didn't do like it did okay. Like I mean, it did well, but like I mean, they haven't they've declined. They pretty much declined since seven. Besides ten, you know. Like in terms of sales, and like, yeah, that's true. I mean, um, it's like, I, I don't know, and like, people haven't really, like, they're not doing poorly. Like, these are, I mean, there's still numbers that I think a lot of games would be happy with, but anytime you see a trend sort of going down, you never, you're never happy with that. So, <sighs> dying is such a strong word, I'd say declining IP for sure. Just because, what, in the last, I don't know, six, like, let's see, eight, uh, last, like, seven, si last seven Final Fantasy games, excluding, like, you know, 10-2, 13-2. So we're talking about, like, main titles, then. Yeah, but, like, even if you include those, it's, like, nine or ten games. Mm -hmm. Like... They've probably only really delivered like a all-time great once, you know? Yeah. Or like a game that was like, and that was ten. So, like, Final Fantasy One was so huge, you know, in this era and stuff like that. Let's just say, let's just say, like, Final Fantasy One was like the revival for Square. Yeah. So I mean, let me give you let me give you an example. So like, I own the game the game that basically put that was gonna put Square in the ground for good. So like, you know, if if none of you don't know what that is, it's called King's Knight. But like, you know, it, so let, let's just let's just say right now, like Final Fantasy has a very impressive run, like from from when it first started. I still think it's impressive now because yeah. there are there are plenty there are plenty of franchises that that are in the ground or at least not in the ground but have a foot in the already have like half they're, they're let's just say they're halfway to six feet deep mm -hmm. and then their 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 only chance at this point is to do reboots let's just say let, let's just say the another a good example series would be tomb raider yeah 
Yeah. Like they're they are digging themselves out of their own hole right now with the with with the the work that they're doing with the Tomb Raider franchise. So I mean, to me, to me like right now like Final Fantasy is is not quite there yet. Yeah. But like, it's the thing. I mean, like some people like twelve. I didn't really care for it. I know the MMOs did. Did, they did fine, you know? Well, actually, 14 didn't do good at launch. Oh, that's right. 14 was... was yeah, like yeah. Reborn was, like... Like, the, when, when they actually... When they actually fucking, like, redid the game, like, you know? Yeah. Like, 14 was a pile of trash on fire. Okay? Like, it's initial release. Like, let's just say... Um... You know, most I want to let, let's just I'm gonna put it out there, okay? So most companies wouldn't even wouldn't even wouldn't even bat an eyelash at that. You know, yeah. the fact that like a game was so bad, like I said, it was basically you know it was basically a, 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 a fucking dumpster on fire. They actually they actually took responsibility and went back and redid it. Now that that is character. I'll just say that's character as a company right now. Because they are so, because you know, they. I, I want to say the Final Fantasy fan base is probably one of the most loyal fan bases. Absolutely. You know, some some people might you know be inclined to disagree, but I don't. I don't know what fan base is even. Because you know. Remotely close, maybe Pokemon. Not even Pokemon, honestly. People, I don't know. Pokemon's kind of a series. Of people come and go. Yeah, because you know, because. There has not been a game that's bombed, and then they were just like, you know what, we're gonna we're we're gonna do something special for you guys. We're gonna redo it and then re-release it. Can you name one? Mm. I can't, not off the top of my head. Let's see, the game did poorly. And, they it. and then they like basically redid it, and then they re-released it. I can't, I can't name one. But while you're thinking about that, so I'm gonna give you my little, you know, I guess you can say retrospective on on. The headline itself. So basically, like you know, like you said, I I agree. Like dying is a strong word, and um, decline would probably be a better word. But at the same time, what keep what what is keeping us afloat right now? I guess in terms of Final Fantasy, is is the loyal fan base. You know, we're 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 probably we're probably like you know sit sit uh, sitting back there in the forefront. You know, talking about like you know, you know we're we're always hoping that the next game will be better. You know, will be better and better. You know, it's 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 what it's what it was what gives our fan base like you know I I want I would you use the word credibility because like because there are you know in other gaming franchises when you know things went sour they kind of just jump ship mm -hmm. you know I mean there are there are I guess you could say quote unquote loyal fans that have jumped ship but then come back but like you know you know test the waters on loyalty but still. Um, I want to. I want to attribute the fact that we're on this plane, like you know, not in the, you know, not even, we. I mean, I guess you can say we dug about half a hole, but like you know, our the little. I guess the fan base has kept it afloat. I want to say. Yeah. So let me get to the article here. So basically, um, uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be quoting like I'm gonna be uh, summarizing this uh, this article by CNET. When uh, the director of Final Fantasy XV, Haj uh, Hajime Tabata, he you know he took the role of director in 2012. Um, he was tasked. He his, his first decision as a director, his role, like you know he's he wanted to he wanted to conduct a uh, analysis of the current state of the Final Fantasy brand in Japan. So I mean, you know, one you know this is this is where like you know this is where the game is you know it's where its roots are. You know this is where this is where it's created. You know, and then, you know, this is where, you know, I want to say it's released first, if not worldwide. But most of the work is done in Japan. So basically, you know, after his, after his, I guess you could say his analysis that he ran, excuse me, um, they were not, uh, they were not promising. It says, uh, this is what Tabata saying the new, the, in a new interview that the franchise was considered a dying IP that already peaked. Mm -hmm. So basically, I guess in human terms, it's past its prime. 
and let me let me say this quote here. It says, "The gravest situation of all was that at the time we were we were starting Final Fantasy 15, we didn't see an increase of new fans in the franchise." He says in the latest issue of Game Informer, the brand image of Final Fantasy wasn't really clear. The brand, yeah, the brand image. Um, I mean, I I guess with I guess with like you know I guess uh, pitfalls you know with within like uh you know. Uh, the way I guess 13 was, um, not everything was so clear cut, you know, it, it, it let's just say it didn't, it didn't help, it didn't help, uh, it didn't help a newer fans of the franchise come in and be comfortable. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I mean, I guess, I guess it, it, I guess in a way they remedied that with the, with the HD remasters for, for, for 10, because um, honestly, I would recommend that for any, any, any person willing to get into the franchise. Yeah, it's probably the most accessible place. It's a good start. Yeah, because it's because it's so brand new right now. It's so rebrand new. I mean, so I mean, uh, you know, and then fourteen is an MMO. So you know, I mean, I don't, I don't think. I mean, unless unless you're unless unless you're a fan of MMOs. But see, even then, I feel I feel like like you wouldn't. You, I don't think you'd like. I feel like. You well, appreciate Final Fantasy. You appreciate a Final Fantasy MMO. You know what I mean? I guess that's true because, um, I, I guess, uh, I guess notwithstanding, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess you're right because I couldn't, I can't really think of any reason why you'd play a Final Fantasy MMO outside of being like, oh damn, it's Final Fantasy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, it's. Final Fantasy's in a... They're not a bad place, but... I think it's just... I think this can... I think in a way this could probably happen to, like, any series. Yeah. Like, I mean... When you when you hit such a... A high note... And it's, like, sort of trying to build back up to it. Yeah, it's like... It's like, it's like trying to... It's like trying to, you know... Trying to bring back your... your I guess you can say your golden era. Yeah. Um... So more on the article. This being the sentiment, you might wonder why Square Enix would go forward with Final Fantasy XV. Uh, Tabata said that he believes fans continue to have faith in the developer to make something great. Honestly, I feel that way about it. Like I'm always, I'm always waiting for something like truly great to come again. You know. I, I think that's the thing. I, I feel like when when Final Fantasy delivers a game that's just solid or like. Eh, it's pretty average, you know. Yeah. Like, that's that's just like I think Final Fantasy fans expect more out of Square. You know what's weird? I noticed is that Thirteen technically wasn't a bad game, right? You know the the critics the critics were you know they were mostly positive, right? So like you know. Yeah. Um, were pretty positive. Yeah. The the for the most part it was positive, but like you know. It seemed like it seemed like what gives what gives like the later Final Fantasy games a bad reputation is what the fan base thinks about it. Yeah. So um, like you know it's not necessarily you know so so like you know the numbers don't matter it's what the fan base thinks about it. So like that that's that's what's ass backwards about like you know about like uh about like the Final Fantasy franchise as a whole. Uh, it's like the numbers don't even fucking matter, dude. Like wh if your fan base thinks your game sucks, then like your game sucks. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the reviewers think. Yeah. Like, you know, that that's kind of how like the fan base is. I mean, I'm sure there's other fan bases like that, but I feel it more from from the from the Final Fantasy community. So, I mean, me personally, I like 13, but, you know. It, it is. I, I they they did a lot of good things with it. I could see why some people don't like it. I would argue that the game takes just a little too long to really get going. Yeah, and even then like you're left in a, you're left in a murky murky water. It's like, it seems like a third of the game is spent like just sort of like figuring everything out. Yeah, like quite like a slow crawl. Yeah. It's just like okay, why don't you step up a little bit? But I mean, I thought overall it was a good game, I think. So and then you know, and then Tabata Tabata explains one thing I've felt from fans is that they are disappointed in the current state of Final Fantasy, but ha but. But still have hope in terms of where the brand could go. And he also went on to mention the three core qualities he believed the final, what defined Final Fantasy as a brand. 
So basically, what he described in Game Informer, this is this is what the as Game as described by Game Informer, these these qualities and are a willingness to challenge the status quo, mm -hmm. an exceptional number. Next one, the an exceptional out of ordinary experience, and the last one is cutting edge technology to use the hardware to the fullest. And he goes on to say, uh, Tabata goes on to say, the last game to meet all three of those, you know, criteria were was 1997's Final Fantasy VII. Oh, imagine that. Anyway, because you know that game, that you know, despite how we feel about it, the game was truly groundbreaking. Yep. So, anyway, um... and he goes, and he, and he content, and he also, and he also wants to say he's trying to apply those three, you know, qualities to the Final Fantasy XV to try to rise to that occasion. So basically, you know, I, you know, despite what you think about it, like, you know, these, you know, I want to say these guys are really trying to get themselves out of a rut. I will say I'm curious what 10 didn't meet out of those three. Yeah, because it says any Final Fantasy released after 7 lacks one or the other. So basically, they always had two, but never had a third. What were the what were the what were the three? Say them again. Okay, so the first one was a willingness to challenge the status quo, uh -huh. an exceptional out of ordinary experience, okay. and cutting edge technology to use hardware to the fullest. Okay, I feel like ten uh, for me would have met, met that. So I at for me the, at least the cutting edge technology. So for me for me the 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 two the last two are the ones that that truly you know are for ten, like. Those two, the last two, fit ten the best. Now, I'm not saying that like you know there is there is a yeah you know what I guess it I guess in a way it didn't really challenge the status quo. It you know it, it's exceptional. Yeah. You know because you know because we did you know we did a, we did a video you know we did a cast on what makes games great you know the game was exceptional I mean the game was great in its own right but you know. Yeah, but if you right. compare if you compare it on on the amount of lines, seven was great, you know, ten was exceptional and almost great. Yeah. Ten is ten is ten is good in itself. I you know we all thoroughly enjoyed ten. I'm not I'm not trying. Sorry. I'm not saying ten is crap. You know. Oh, de you know definitely. I mean, you know, I mean the older generation behind you know the 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 generation in front of us might have some reservations, but you know we have to you know we have to agree or you know generational like i guess you could say generational taste changed when seven came out yeah you know the generation in front of us said they didn't like you know that you know our generation liked seven because you know it was it was new you know it was different it was different than you know like you know why seven meets the first one status quo it 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 was totally different from six like you know it 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 didn't it, I I don't want to say bland because that's kind of a fucked up thing to say, but it didn't it didn't meet the standard requirements that the other Final Fantasies met, and so like that that's yeah. that's that's, that's yeah, the first one. At seven at the time was a brand new experience. And then seven and then seven also met the exceptional out of ordinary experience. So it was like you know whether you knew the story you actually didn't know the story because there were more stories. So like you would always learn something new and you'd be like, wow, what the fuck, right? Like, oh, this is actually what happened, you know, blah blah blah. And then so and then the third one it definitely met, you know, cutting edge technology. It was the you know, it was the first, you know, open world three D like fucking thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it used a huge world. So I mean it, it definitely filled those three easily. So I mean, you know, I guess you know we we are putting seven on a pedestal. We are, but you know, you have you have to admit, like, it it, it is what it is. It stand it stands it stands on the top. Whether you you know whether you think so or not, it's critically acclaimed. Okay, so it's you know it's loved by many. It's the highest selling Final Fantasy game of all time by significantly amount. So I mean, like. It, it's a commercial critical and like uh, I don't know what's what, what's the word for fans? I don't know. Um, for like fan, you know, successful with the fans. Yeah, I don't know. What would you say? And I would just use critical success. Yeah, it's, a, it's commercial and critical success. It you know it nailed everything. I don't know. And like that's the thing. See, it's, like, it's always you're always gonna be sort of reach you know. 
when you when you set the when you set the bar high every like, every time you take a leap after that you know you're reaching for that yeah cuz okay let me just let me just put it this way we both have played at you know we we've, we've both at least for me i i played 5 and 6 although i didn't quite complete both of those games i still played enough of them to to appreciate them you know it, it yeah. i'm not i'm not saying i didn't play any of the past games i i've you know i'm still trying to play 4 i never got the chance um I haven't played three, four, or five. Those are the three I haven't played. I played five and six, and then like I'm trying to play. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to actively play four, but you know I'm caught in these other games right now. Dark Souls especially. Um. So. I I think I have four and five, either four and five or three and four on the PC. Hmm. Um. So I mean. Get to those so let's just say let's just say they're more accessible than ever. Yeah. So you know we're not making excuses. They're there. You know it. They're there, you know, when... We get around to them. There's a backlog somewhere that's just oozing with games that I need to play. No, uh, literally, like, you know, you might say we're making up excuses, but that, I guess, I guess in a way, and I guess in a way, it doesn't fucking matter, <laughs> you know? You can say what you want, but you, but you have to, you have to agree with the, you have to agree with, you know, what, 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 like, what it's achieved. Yeah. So, I mean... I mean, this thing, like, even Square's just, like, that's, they know that's, that's the bar that's set. Yeah, because they, you know, that bar's been set since 97. Yeah. I, I think I'm encouraged because, like, I don't, I don't think they've ever been as open about this type of stuff in the past. So I feel like they're saying all these things because I think they really believe in 15. Or they want to, or yeah, either that or they're just completely delusional. I but you know I, I mean. But I like to think that they're you know they know what they have. You know, and at the same time they have everything to lose. So I mean, yeah. Um, yeah so fifteen doesn't deliver. That is that is gonna be rough. But I want to I I want to give you know because all this work you know all this work they're putting in like I. I, w I want it to be exceptional, although I know it's not going to reach the same bar as seven. You know, there's the only I want to say the only game that'll reach its bar is its own is itself. You know, considering they're making a remake, it might it might not capture that same goodness. But I'd hate to use I'd hate to use the uh, you know, what what is that word again? Yeah, I think I think we're just at a we're not at a unfortunately we're not at a time in gaming where I think fifteen can. I think at, as a game purely, it could arguably be as good, but at the same time, I don't think we're at a I don't think we're at a, a point in like gaming and gaming technology that it can be revolutionary in the way that Seven was. So it can only really it can only really you know go so far. Yeah, because you know, because Seven was like okay, it was a good game, but it was revolutionary. It did all these things at a time where, you know, like, there was all these transitions. Yeah, because there were there was a lot of firsts going in, let's just say. Because, yeah. you know, with, with, with the technology the way it is, there's a, there's going to be, there's going to be, you're going to be hard-pressed to find something that it's, it's the first of. So, I mean, you know. 15 will likely not be as historically significant. But as a game itself, or maybe as a story, or maybe as gameplay-wise, maybe it can get there. So I mean we're gonna so with that said, what are, you know so but let's just let's just put it this way. What are you are you optimistic about fifteen? Do you still believe in Square? Do are you want to make it to that question? I mean that's part of the question too. Okay, so let's just make that the question then. Do you do you believe in Square? You think they still got it? They still got something on their sleeve? I mean I I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna be with them all the way. Until they officially die, you know. Yeah. Until until it's until until it's official, you know. You know until it's official, like they die, like Duke Nukem did. <laughs> but I doubt that. I doubt they're gonna. I doubt they're gonna. They're gonna go out and. I'm. I'm not even gonna call Duke Nukem's failure an explosion. It just fizzled out. It was a. It was a. It was a nuclear bomb that threatened to go off. I so. I think it's just one of those things. It's like when, when a company delivers to you such an impactful gaming experience it's like 
it's kind of hard to ever like give up on them. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Like, and for some people it was six, some people it was seven, some people it was ten, but. And like, for, you know, believe it or not, so a lot of people for for a lot of, for for a lot of the for a lot of the people who really cherished what six was, and you know, and I guess you can say damned what seven became. Uh-huh. Um, they actually saw a lot of six and nine, believe it or not, because of uh, because of the theming, I guess. So I mean, you know, yeah. they were. I mean, I guess, I guess in a way, they were hoping nine was gonna be like seven. But you know, I mean, again, like I didn't like nine initially when it came out, but I, 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 I enjoyed it for what it was. So um, I have a new appreciation for the game. So I mean, I, I get more. I didn't like it as much when I was younger, but we'll see. I'll get around to it. As adults, as as adults, like you know, we. You know, as adults now, you know, we appreciate things more. You know, our, our opinions change. I mean, for me, for, for beating the game, for having to beat the game twice, like, I had to beat the game twice. So, I mean, it was stupid family thing, but at, even then, like, I got a better appreciation for it. So, maybe maybe one day 12 would be like that for me, but 12 right now is my least favorite, so... Um, Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll only really matter when we get older, even older. But no, even older. I mean, until then, until then, we'll we'll see. But do I believe in Square? Yes. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that I'm gonna put that out there. I believe in Square. Because uh, on top of that, also like I don't know, they've made other good games. Fuck it, let's just put on a shirt and sell it. We believe in Square. We believe in Square. It's just we believe in, and then just a square. Yeah. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Squaresoft on the fucking shirt. <laughs> so, sorry. I guess we'll just wrap it up here. Um, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Tell us, tell us your. I want to. I want to. I want to hear everything. Tell us. You know. Tell us what you think about. You know about uh, the Final Fantasy franchise as a whole. Tell us what you. You know. Tell us what your. I want to say. I want to say. Tell us what your game. Your favorite game was. Tell us. You know. You know. Uh, Tell us which of the games thought met those three criteria, and tell us why. I mean, I, I, I just want to know. Because you know, everyone's got, you know, th- this is a very vocal fan base, so I'd like to, I'd like to hear from everyone, you know, as many people as I can. I'm just, yeah, I'll stop my head. I feel like the only three that would have actually met that category is one, six, and seven. <laughs> that's just, that's just me. Especially if ten didn't, like in my mind, I'm thinking ten. But I guess when I think about it, I guess it didn't. I don't know. I mean, ten was. I mean, then again, we you know we all know ten's hell of a game, but yeah. you know. Like I said, it's not really wrong. But I mean, at the same time, those are very broad criteria. But still, I yeah. you know, without going too much more into it, this is the Kings of Rice. Peace out.